Uh, we'd like to acknowledge uh, the city of Albuquerque, Albuquerque Museum, the Albuquerque Muse uh, Museum History Advisory Committee, and the Albuquerque Museum Foundation. <clears throat> A little bit about Lueve. Uh, Lueve was founded in Madrid in 1846 by a collective of, uh, of leather makers. Lueve is, old, is Spain's leading luxury brand and one of the oldest houses in the world. For over 175 years, Loewe has been defined by a unique savoir-faire drawing on its Spanish uh, heritage to inform a bold, spirited approach to craft and culture. A deep connection to art and design is really at the heart of the identity of Loewe today. It's now encapsulated by the work of the Loewe Foundation, established in 1988 this proud mission of promoting and supporting the arts from poetry and dance to fine art and craft alongside a rich program of collaborations and projects with both emerging and established artists and makers, Loewe remains committed to the dialogue between art, craft and design. This is embodied by an incredible collection of artworks spanning painting, sculpture, installation and photography all on display in our stores around the world. One of those stores was the Loewe Miami Design District store. And this is where we housed our 18th century granary structure. It was really built, the store was built around an open air, light filled environment with this monument to our heritage in the middle. Creative director Jonathan Anderson, together with our architecture division, designed the store's light filled open planned interior uh, as pretty much a striking tension between the structure's rough hewn age character and the dazzling services of the design district in Miami. And now Loewe is incredibly proud to donate the Oreo to the Albuquerque Museum to be housed here permanently for visitors to discover and enjoy. Um, and I do want to remind you that this Oreo uh, this object that is now joining the Albuquerque Museum's permanent collection is not the first opportunity that the Albuquerque Museum has had to celebrate the connections with Spain in a city that is named after a duke from Spain. In 1706, as you all know, um, the city of Albuquerque, or the Villa of Albuquerque, was named in honor of the Duke of Albuquerque. And then in the 1950s, the 18th Duke of Albuquerque, Don Beltran Osorio Diez, de Rivera uh, donated to the Albuquerque Museum one of our signature objects, the Repostero, which was created in the 1620s to celebrate the family lineage of the Dukes of Albuquerque. So this is continuing on a long celebration of the important connections between our city and the country of Spain. So we very much thank Lueve for making possible such an incredibly important donation of an object that many of you you may not have seen before um, or may not have even understood what a structure like this is. An Oreo is specifically a grain storage structure that have been built uh, since the Middle Ages in Spain and Portugal and it's raised up off the ground to keep the vermin out of the grain, to keep the rats and the mice out of the grain. And this, our structure, would have originally had uh, wooden walls with slat with slits between each one of the wooden boards to make sure that ventilation can flow in and out. In Galicia and in Portugal, uh, the northern part of Portugal, it's very humid and wet, and so they want to make sure that the grain stays dry. What I find fascinating about a structure like this is that most of them, starting in the 1600s, were built specifically to store one type of grain corn on the cob. Corn on the cob, which was not eaten by humans in Spain, mostly eaten by animals, uh, but it was an important crop early on in the 1600s in Spain. Where did corn come from? From the Americas. So this object shows us that connection, not just culture coming from Europe to the Americas, but Native American culture helping to feed the world. So this object will help us tell that story of New Mexico, Spain, the New World in such an interesting way. So this is a major gift for us here at the Albuquerque Museum.